Hello, this is Tech and welcome back to another review on V2012 Team and T Season 1 Episode 10, The Panic in the Sewers episode. And this episode was a really good one in terms of the characters' developments and how they're going to be moving on in the season. But for the story, it's a bit iffy, I would say. But the characters' motivation in this episode was on point and definitely needs be like improved upon, not like in a bad way, but like we need to see more of this in the show and other versions of the turtles and that. Because this is where I feel like it's a very good way to just go, yeah, you can have a really good story, but the character motivations that's what really pushed in this episode. And yeah, so let's actually get on with the review, shall we? So we start off with Instant Stream, where somehow we've got the catch of the tolls, um, personalities, down to the fact where Raphael would punch on Tolo. It is a bit creepy, I'd say. But that is when things go terribly wrong for the turtles. I swear, uh, no, not Splinter. Uh, Shudder comes out and pe uh, beats them all up. And he may have killed them. We don't actually get a full answer to this scene. But, you know, he may have killed uh, the turtles again or something like that. But Splinter wakes up and he get has the realisation that basically he cannot let the turtles go up, or otherwise they will die. And I thought like this is a very good, strong motivation for the character, especially of one like Splinter. As this one is uh, starting to get killed, and I thought it was a very really strong character motivation. It's a shame we don't really get to see too much more of this in future episodes or anything like that. But this is a very good story arc. So, or, oh, sorry, a little story thing. So, the turtles are training in the lair, and the player puts them through hell, non stop, no sleep, and nothing like that. But the turtles go off uh, duty, and the turtles are building patrol buggies because turtles and toy themselves. <laughs> um, yeah. Meanwhile, we've got April, she's going off to the Pearl Dragons to uh, try and see if she can get any news on Shredder's plan. And luckily for her, it does work, and she finds out that Shredder's going to be uh, going after the Turtles. So the Turtles uh, do a very risky thing and go up uh, to uh, Shredder's uh, building in daylight. Now, this is one of the many problems I have with this episode. One of many. <laughs> uh, so, a few episodes ago in the episode Metal Head, he you know, said to April that they cannot go up to, uh, say, Kirby because it's daylight. And yet here they are in daylight because they're same in their own home. I think someone's a hypocrite. But that's neither here or there. But, you know, when it's for Leo, I guess it really goes for anything for him, I guess. Since he's been very much a hypocrite. However, this does lead to the Tolls' down old downfall. The Tolls have been all, all like. Bumping into Dog Pound and things only go down here from uh, down here from here. Just because uh, Turtles start to fight Dog Pound, but they realise that they're going to lose, and they are losing very poorly. And this is only due down to the fact that Master Winter's really put into their minds that basically they're going to lose and not ready for this. And that's very good character motivation for all these characters, as they're not really as well, really in reality they're not ready. And just emphasising that point even forward. It is a brilliant idea and executed quite well. And to the point where, like, when they're trying to escape with the smoke bombs, they fail. Monkey hits the floor, but it's very weak. Ratchet does it, but it goes in the manhole cover. And I feel like this is like very good to show that, like, these, that these characters are vulnerable and all that. And this is a very good story arc. So that gives April the motivation that she needs to do this again. But this time, with the foot soldiers with the pizza. But it doesn't work, so April decides to go across uh, the buildings by doing parkour and nearly dies. Shame she doesn't do, uh, die. But, yeah, I guess. So while April is in Shredder's building, she finds out what Shredder's plan is, and it's basically to use his acid to basically dissolve the sewers. And, yeah, but if that was to happen, wouldn't it just take down all New York if, if it's explosive? But. I could be wrong about that, but Shredder basically was going to basically destroy New York, in other words. But when April gets down to the, uh, to the surface, Dog Pound overhears uh, April and kidnaps her. Uh, this gives uh, them the excuse to use patrol buggies and for them to make toys of it. So the turtles go off um, in two teams, but uh, Raph and Donnie go after April and they nearly kill April. Like they, sm they throw a smoke bomb into the car. Which Fonku crashed a car, we could have flipped or something like that. Then Raph has the great idea to burst out his tyres, which again, 
he could Thorn could have actually crushed the car, flipped it on the back. They could have killed April, and no one's doing a damn thing about it. I mean, they are men uh, to the city at this point. Jesus. But then you got Leo and Mikey fighting dog pounds and losing really badly um, just because of it and probably because of the fear as well. But this is when Dog Pound decided to shove the sword through uh, the uh, like vehicle, that's the chemical, and then I feel like this is it's a pretty weak point, but it's an okay one because it sort of leads up to it, but sort of not. Uh, but he asked Mikey to just throw the, um, a water balloon because he's um, Dr. Frankenstein. Yay! And that basically concludes the episode. Uh, we do get uh, a few other scenes. We got um, Shredder slicing off a bill of Dog Pound's uh, back uh, because of failure and all that. Um, yeah, that happened. Nothing to the scene whatsoever. Or didn't push any stories, character motivations. But it was there, I guess. What was the point in that scene? There's nothing actually there before it really annoys me now. Uh, but also do get a really good scene with Spencer saying, coming out and apologising to the turtle, saying that, yeah, it was my fault, but I put all this fear and doubt into your head, and as a result of it, I could have actually killed you last or killed you. And I thought that was a brilliant idea to really bring forth that, like, he too has his flaws and that, and could actually be a downside, a downfall to his sons. And, but yeah, I do, I, I do really uh, appreciate that scene, as to show his more human side, um, and yeah, I guess, the reason really too much I can add to this, is just a really good scene, uh, but yeah, so overall for this episode, I did really enjoy this one, the story was okay, but the character motiva uh, motivations were on point in this episode, as they really did drive the whole episode forward, with the souls not really thinking that they're about to do anything, or be able to survive the next mission. I'll say like the disappointment thing for this is one Mikey Jesus Dr. Frankenstein, who the hell cares about that? But two, you also got um what's it called? um like this this whole motivation when not they're not feeling ready, you're being doubt. It doesn't really exactly last too long, it ends after this episode. And it really quite annoys me just because it's an interesting storyline that you that you could bring to multiple episodes. Um, as like a, like maybe like a mini story arc and something like that. So that's a real shame for, uh, for it. Um, but yeah, I wish I could say some other bad things, I guess, but I don't even know, really know what else to say, but... Oh god, yeah. So yeah, let me know what you think about this episode in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's okay? Uh, what do you think of the character, uh, the character motivations? Do you think they're good as I did? I guess we'll find out in the comments below. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today guys. If you did them, please share, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Good bye, yo. Bye.